Welcome back. Now let's take a quick look at sports. Here's Ayotunde Balogun. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Thank you, Ijoma. All is set for a titanic battle between African champions Nigeria and European champions Germany in the round of 16 at the ongoing 2015 FIFA Under-20 World Cup in New Zealand. Observers believe this will be the toughest game for the lads of coach Manu Garba. Germany came through as Group F winners, winning all group matches, scoring a whopping 16 goals and conceding only two as they crushed Fiji, Honduras and Uzbekistan. The Flying Eagles' route to the next round was not smooth as they lost their first match 4-2 to Brazil, but then recovered to win the remaining two games. Now, the match will be played at 8.30 a.m. Thursday morning in Christchurch, New Zealand, and the winner of the encounter will face Mali in the quarterfinal. Super Eagles chief coach Stephen Keshi has played down insinuations that Chad will be an easy prey in Saturday's 2017 AFCON qualifier. Coach Keshi, who met with the media in Kaduna after the team's training, explained that the Chadian team parade quite a number of foreign-based professionals and therefore should be taken serious. Now, the former Togo and Mali Handler warned that the mistakes of the last Afghan qualifiers, which cost the former African champions a place at the tournament, should be avoided. Meanwhile, Super Eagles opponents Chad will arrive in Abuja tomorrow and then proceeds to Kaduna venue for Saturday's AFCON 2017 uh, clash. A 41-man contingent had been in Paris, France, where the team had been training for the big game. There are 22 players in that delegation, with seven technical officials, led by coach Emmanuel Trigo, and 12 administrative officials. Nigerian referee Musa Nali and his assistants Sadisu Idi and Abdulaziz Saleh are also due in Nigeria tomorrow. The match commissioner Andy Kwamir from Liberia also is also expected and will take charge of the pre-match meeting on Friday. And that's it on Sports News. Ijama will be back with the rest of the news at 10. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Now, the days of long visa and passport processing at the Nigerian High Commission in London may be over with the recent unveiling of a digital queuing system. The Nigerian High Commissioner, Ambassador Saliki Tafida, who opened the new extension, gave the assurance of better public relations and improved services. We still believe we still have a long way to go in what we have to do with this mission. But we are able to do the little that we can do. And we hope and pray that what we finally leave, those coming, will find it difficult to reverse what we have done. It will be difficult because I know Nigerians in this country and after over six weeks of protests in Burundi, the president has issued a decree delaying the presidential election to July the 15th, even though the opposition are calling for a boycott. Here's Cynthia Are with more. We do apologize for the problems we're having with the audio there, but what we were trying to tell you was that in Burundi, opposition parties are calling for a boycott of the delayed elections, which have been moved to July the 15th from June the 26th in that country. And the main news again. Aggrieved APC senators have threatened to take legal action against the election of the Senate President Bukola Saraki and his deputy, Senator Ike Ekweremadu, the aggrieved senators staged a walkout during legislative proceedings. President Muhammadu Buhari has met with service chiefs ahead of tomorrow's Lake Chad Basin Country's Heads of State meeting in Abuja. 
The security chiefs briefed the president about the meeting of Lake Chad Basin country's defense ministers. The EFCC has arraigned 11 foreign nationals, including three Russians and eight Filipinos, for alleged illegal bunkering. And Burundi's opposition has called for the boycott of delayed elections owing to continued unrest triggered by President Nkuruziza's third term bid. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahko Nyato. You have a good night.